I have done, particularly since I became Solicitor General, and thereafter have done an enormous amount of thinking about Robert Jackson and who he was for a variety of reasons that we can talk about. But you know, one thing that always impressed me about Jackson was reading some of his reflections and speeches about the role of the lawyer. And uh, he gave in particular one talk about, after he had become a justice, about what constitutes good oral advocacy. And you probably know this quote very well, but I use it all the time about the, you know, the parable about the three uh, workers who are, you know, cutting stones for a cathedral and what the response of each of the three of them is. And that's the metaphor that I have in my mind as a lawyer. I want... For the tape, why don't you go through that? Well, uh, I don't have Justice Jackson's words in front of me, but he, what he, he was reflecting on um, oral advocacy and lawyers' advocacy and said that, you know, as now as a Supreme Court justice, you know, as he watched the progression of lawyers coming to argue their cases in front of the Supreme Court, he was reminded of the parable uh, of the stonecutters. And, you know, one, a visitor to the outskirts of a, you know, a stonecutting operation said to, came up to one stonecutter and said, you know, what are you doing? And the stonecutter said, um, I'm earning my daily bread. And he went to the second stone cutter and said, you know, what are you doing? Hi. Good morning. And said, um, what are you doing? And the second stone cutter said, I'm shaping my stones to, my pieces of stone to fit in the building. And the third one said, lifted up his eyes and said, I'm building a cathedral. And what Justice Jackson said is, it lifts the heart of a judge to have a lawyer appear in front of the court who understands that he is building a cathedral. And that's the way I think that, that's my professional ambition to, you, can all, you will always fall short, mm -hmm. but to try and build a professional cathedral for every case that you handle. Um, I mean, in terms of broader aspirations, that gets into sort of deep life questions about um, work-life balance and how much of one's professional life to devote to private clients versus pro bono matters and teaching and civic responsibilities, which is always in, in flux and ought to be something that people, particularly people who are in professions that are so jealously demanding of their time, mm -hmm. like the practice of law, should think about.